Today on Eagle Nation News, fall has officially begun. Madeline Wentz hits the halls to learn more about why students love fall. Crossbow Volleyball dominates on the court and family trees. Landry Long introduces one family who has been a part of Prosper Volleyball for years. Even though Eagle Nation News is an award-winning program, we still have our trip-ups. ENN shows behind-the-scenes bloopers. Good morning, Eagle Nation, and thank you for joining us. Today is Wednesday, October 5th. I'm Parker Reynolds. And I'm Diane Shaw. As the regular season of Major League Baseball comes to a close this evening, history was made in Arlington last night when the New York Yankees outfielder Aaron Judge hit his 62nd home run of the season. This set the record for the most home runs hit in a season ever. Just last month, the tickets to this game were around $40 but some were sold last night for over 400 due to the ball being worth an estimated $2 million. And Diane, I saw the guy that caught the ball actually fell off of, he fell over. The Is it true he was a Texas Rangers fan? Yes. It's so crazy to, be see, to see history being made right here in our Texas Rangers stadium. In other Texas news, born and raised Texas girl, Arbany Gabriel, who won Miss Texas USA in June, has officially won Miss USA. Arbany is making history as the 10th Miss USA to come from Texas and is actually a fashion designer whose brand Arbany Nola Designs is a large part of her platform. She uses her love of fashion and creating to teach sewing workshops to break the fast fashion waste cycle. All of Texas and all of the USA will be cheering Arbany on as she tackles Miss Universe in January. I had the pleasure of meeting Arbany this summer and I watched her get crowned live. She's such an icon for me personally. And I bet it's awesome to be able to see someone on TV in such a public space that you know personally. Such an inspiration. Mm -hmm. This crisper air we've been feeling this week means it's finally fall. Madeline Wentz took to the halls to uncover what students are most looking forward to this season. What is your favorite thing about fall? Um, I think my favorite thing is watching like horror movies. I like the scents and all the colors that it comes with. Football. I love the cold weather. weather. Like yes. it's getting cold and it's just like, you get to cozy up. I'm like a pumpkin spice addict and Halloween is my favorite holiday. Do you all have Halloween in Spain? Yeah, but it's very different. It's like, we don't have this decoration and here is more important. I like the fall scents. All the long sleeves we get to wear. I love sweater weather. weather. College football games and high school football games become bigger in the fall and more important, and I love high school and college football. Where did you go to college? Where, where did I go to college? I think I, I think I know this. I, think I, I went to college at the University of Texas. The candles. I like Halloween. I like dressing up and going out with my friends and hanging out, and I like going to Six Flags Bright Fest. I like the rain and the fall leaves. The, the weather. weather? Yes. How are you feeling about the weather today? I didn't like it. Really? It was a little bit too cold in the morning. Wait, so you said you like the colder weather, but then it's too cold at like 70 degrees. <laughs> the leaves. Just the fact that there are leaves? Yeah, yeah. Like the colors of the leaves, or like, le like jumping in leaf piles, or just leaves, their existence? The orange leaves. When do you think spooky season officially starts? Mm, like the 15th. Of October? Yeah. So like Before that, if you have up Halloween decorations, you're wrong? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Then I guess I'm wrong. Yes. All right. Thank you. Yeah, Diane, I'm going to have to agree with a lot of those people. The weather has been getting really nice. But, you know, I'm going to have to go against what Mr. Jones says. I'm an OU fan, so I'm going to say horns down. Oklahoma is going to beat UT this weekend. Parker, that's quite the controversial statement. I'm not too big of a football girl myself, so I'm going to say my favorite parts of fall are the fall beverages dropping at my favorite coffee shops and that it's finally sweater weather. I don't doubt that. This week, we've seen some major fashion moments and more shocking family drama going on in the media. Stay tuned. Talent Talk is up next. The Anime Club will be meeting at 8 a.m. on Wednesday, October 12th. Please see Ms. Martinez in room 1201 to pick up a morning pass. From runway transformations to yet another cheating scandal, Christina Krasnova examines the latest media happenings in today's Talent Talk. 
Thanks, Diane. During Paris Fashion Week, Bella Hadid made jaws drop, including mine, at the Caperni Fashion Show with a dress made entirely of spray-on fabric. She first hit the runway without it, but when she reached center stage, the audience watched as three technicians sprayed a white layer of latex on her bare body called Fabricin. Once it was finished, she strutted down the runway, showing off the impressive custom-made dress. Hadid's performance is already going viral on TikTok, receiving praise from fans and fellow fashionistas. I've seen this dress all over my For You page this week, and I think it looks absolutely flawless. Amid multiple cheating incidents made public, Ned Fulmer, now a former member of the YouTube group The Try Guys, was caught cheating on his wife online. Once his removal was confirmed by The Try Guys, Ned, Ned Fulmer posted on his Twitter page, quote, Family should have always been my priority, but I lost focus and had a consensual workplace relationship. The Try Guys are now editing Fulmer out of all of their YouTube videos, costing them revenue, and his friends and family are left speechless and heartbroken, as Fulmer was widely considered a wife guy. On Monday, just over a week after the initial statements, the Try Guys released a YouTube video going in-depth on the incident. When I was watching the video, I noticed Eugene looked especially upset. Go ahead and take a look. We are obviously incredibly shocked and deeply hurt by all of this. This is someone who we'd built a brand and a company with for eight years. We feel saddened, not just personally, but on behalf of our staff and our fans who believed in us. I mean, they all just seemed completely devastated. Think about the years of friendship, money, and family going down the drain. In much lighter news, as Prosper Volleyball continues to dominate state rankings, Landry Long sat down with one player whose sister actually took Prosper Volleyball all the way to state. Protect the tradition, the slogan that has been rooted in Prosper Volleyball and has been passed through the generations. Since 2013, this motto has been enforced by head coach Aaron Kaufman, who has helped put Prosper Volleyball on the map after leading the 2017 team in the 5A state championship. I just remember coming here and, you know, I'm, I'm starting year 10, but my five-year vision was, you know, we're going to see so much growth here. Why not us? Why can't we be one of the best? And so that first year we had some really signature wins that Prosper had not had the year before and that really got the girls in the community believing that we could be really good. On that victorious team was class of 2019 junior setter and current UConn athlete Maddie Whitmire. She was a powerful player and helped pave the way for future PVB athletes, including her younger siblings. The thing about Maddie, she was always really smart and very goal-oriented, and she was just a phenomenal leader from the get-go. I don't know if that just comes with being like the oldest child, but she definitely has those type of those character traits. She told me her goal was to be on both sides of the billboard, and I kind of laughed because I thought, wow, that's those are lofty goals, and that's almost impossible. And Sure enough, she was on both sides of the billboard. After graduating from PHS in the top of her class, Maddie passed on the number 16 jersey to her sister, who wears it proudly on the Varsity Lady Eagles team. I feel like Maddie really set the expectation for like how I'm going to be a player. Her connection with all the teammates, her leadership, and just her skill is really pushing me to be a better athlete. The 6'1 freshman is dominant under and behind the ball. Playing at TAV, one of the top club teams in the nation, this has taught her leadership skills and has aided in providing her knowledge to play at the varsity speed. On the court, she talks like she's a senior. She has a really good um, comfortability on the court with her teammates. She's not a scared freshman. And then when you're out on the court, the other team doesn't care that you're a freshman. You weren't on the freshman team, you weren't on the JV team, you're on the varsity team now. So now it's big girl volleyball. So growing up in the volleyball world, it's kind of created this whole bubble around my competitive nature. And I just want to be better than what was left behind in my family, leaving a true legacy on the Whitmire name since I'm the last one to come through the program is like one of the main important things to me. Danielle's the youngest, so the, she's the youngest one and the last one to come through, but I just love that family. They allowed me to coach their kids and they allowed me to coach their kids hard and you know they really reap the rewards of, of that. The Whitmires are committed to carrying on the legacy and protecting the tradition. Reporting for Eagle Nation News, I'm Landry Long.
And maybe you'll get the chance to see her play Friday night against the Blue Hawks in the Rock Hill Arena at 5.30. Yeah, Diane, and the Eagles are coming off a big win against Geyer last night, and Prosper Volleyball is actually 8-0 and 1st in District. Game time is up next with more on Prosper Sports. Stop by Prosper Blooms for all your floral needs. Located on West Broadway in downtown Prosper, the locally owned flower shop is home to arrangements for every occasion. Prosper Blooms also offers earrings, headbands, Prosper gear, and more. Come by and make your own arrangement at the Blooms Bar or order a designed arrangement. Prosper Blooms offers same day design and hand delivery to cater to all your plant needs. Prosper Blooms, the one stop shop for everything floral in Prosper. Prosper Sports are continuing to dominate. Grace Escabel is in studio with this week's Game Time. Thanks, Parker. Last Friday, the football team had a dominant 59 6 win over Little Elm. Senior quarterback Harrison Rosar finished the night with six touchdowns and 203 yards. Senior wide receiver Hunter Summers brought in five TDs and totaled in 121 yards on eight catches. The Eagles have a bye this week, but we'll be back next Thursday to face off against McKenney Boyd at McKenney ISD Stadium. From the field to the court, the volleyball team had a 3-1 win over McKenney last week and extended the winning streak to 8-0 in a district after a 3-1 win over Denton Geyer. The Lady Eagles will play again on Friday against the Rock Hill Blue Hawks in the Rock Hill Arena at 5.30. Switching over to tennis, the Eagles played in their last regular season match against McKenney and had a big 19-0 win, making the Eagles district runner-ups. In cross-country news, the Eagles ran in the Jesuit Classic over the weekend. The girls finished in fourth while the boys took home third. Because fall break is kicking off, there aren't as much prosperous sports as usual. Since the break begins tomorrow, all of us here at ENN wanted to end the show with something fun. Here are some behind-the-scenes bloopers. I'll be there. Ah! Sorry, I'll have to check it out. Yeah, for, for same. Oh my god. <laughs> Live in Frisco, I'm Zach Manning. I look like a founding father. You are a founding father! I oh, I'm sorry, Hedge. Got it. I'm the villain, but I can't do anything. You don't talk about Bruno. 26 to 3. 23 to 6. Here I come. Oh Hide your declarations. Oh, fake. Like, you know that was pretty. They did? <laughs> Can we go for the top now? Second or third. Yeah. In October. Is October. Is October 12th. Hatch. <laughs> so many bozos. Backer, he has done amazing. Led the team in tackles the past. You know, Rock Hill's offense has been. What? Well, I don't know about you, Diane, but I really enjoy getting back to see those bloopers, even if they are a little bit embarrassing, especially when you get to watch yourself mess up. That's it's true. so awesome to see how far we've all come as anchors and how much work we put in behind the scenes, how many mistakes the camera never even sees. Yeah, and that's all we have for you today, Eagle Nation. Once again, I'm Parker Reynolds. And I'm Diane Shaw. Just a reminder, it is a five-day weekend, so school is out until Tuesday. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next week. Have a great day, and go Eagles!